It's time to start the show. Yes, yes. All right. I am here, y'all. Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's just weird. I feel this is more than cabin fever now. Now I'm feeling, I'm, I don't want to say the L word, but, oh, this is. The isolation, honey. Oh, in any case, I have been looking forward to the show all week long because that has given me my outlet to do something fun, to hang out with you tonight. And I'm so glad. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight and keeping me company. Who I need it. I need it. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Walitha. Hey, Kim. Hey, Ashley. Gosh. Hey, Ken. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, what, what can we say? Right? Coronavirus 2020. I don't know. It, it's got to be a purpose. I believe that everything serves a purpose. And I'm sure that this COVID-19 coronavirus is teaching us something. Uh, oh my gosh. Anyway, so tonight we're going to get started with the recipe. I didn't want to um, eat very heavy. I made sure I stocked the fridge with a lot of food, a lot of stuff to make salads and all of this stuff. So I've been really eating clean um, because the last thing I want is to get sick or overeat while this pandemic is going on and um, stress the hospitals out. Also, before we get started, can we please, please, please shout out all the healthcare professionals out there? MVPs, thank you guys. The doctors and the nurses, those of you who are literally putting your lives on the line and to make sure that we are well. So thank you so much. I know for one, my um, little cousin Tish, Tish was working at Grady Hospital in Atlanta a few months ago. Well, before this um, virus really started to mushroom, she drove out to LA. So now she's working in, in Los Angeles in the hospitals there. And you know, they are... They've been feeling the pinch of this for a long time. So if you have a nurse, healthcare professional, doctor in your family or your friends, please just send them a word of prayer. Uh, let them know you're thinking about them. And one of the greatest things that I heard um, from a healthcare professional on CNN was that the, the we don't need your applause. We don't need your cheers. The most you can do for us is stay home. 
So I'm doing my best to make sure that I just keep myself healthy, stay out in the streets, and um, I've got everything I need except like physical company. So I'm starved for company right now. But somebody that don't mind being by herself, child, ooh wee. Anyway, we're gonna get started with tonight. So it's it's gonna be a really light um, recipe on tonight. Um, no pasta, no rice. I know, right? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Hey, Lynn. Hey, Jay. So I'm just I I picked up some scallops because you know when you go to the grocery store especially in this um this pandemic the the shelves are pretty bare there's ain't no ribs ain't no chicken thank god i managed to stock up on all of that stuff before uh the virus hit so i've got that stuff in the freezer but for tonight, I really just wanted something light. And hey, Fee. <laughs> oh, thank you, honey. I am. I'm staying home. I think it was getting me. I talked to mom earlier today. I was like, mom, I, I think I'm feeling sick. She was like, you know, I've been having the chills too. But I think really just the isolation is starting to get to us. Um, Because, ooh, chill. But no, I'm not sick. I've been taking my tem temperature. It is normal. I mean, perfect. Yesterday, when I checked it, it was 98.6. Perfect! And today, I checked it twice. It, I mean, perfect. So, I'm not sick. I just... Ooh. I'm lonely! <laughs> so, tonight, um, I'm going to do some scallops. Some sea scallops. And I'm going to sear them. Then, I'm going to do a garlic butter lemon sauce to pour over it you know um yeah that's that's it uh i had some more brussels sprouts that i had marinating <laughs> thank you <laughs> maro thank you um so i got my little brussels sprouts that i grilled mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh my gosh they're good just a little olive oil. I put them on my little, um, my griddle pan. Mmm. Lord, that's good. And I've got some carrots roasting in the oven. So, I'm eating real clean tonight. Real clean. Um, but I got these beautiful sea scallops. Because wasn't nobody buying that. I did. And I know a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, I like, you know, not everybody likes scallops, but I happen to love them. So I'm going to season these babies up. Just a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. And do that on both sides. Because whatever, whatever you season on one side, you got to do to the other. Okay, so just a little salt and pepper, real simple, because we're going to have the um, garlic the garlic butter sauce with the lemon, maybe a little splash of white wine, but we're not going to overdo it on the seasoning, real light, really, really light. Um, if my niece Ashley is on, Ashley... Would you call your grandfather for me? My daddy celebrated uh, a birthday yesterday, so he's 73 years old today. So, you don't know this, but just a few seconds ago, he was calling. Yep. Now, I just got off the phone with Mommy. So, uh, I'm not sure why he's calling. He knows I started at 7 o'clock. Pronto. Anyway, uh, Ashley, call your granddad and find out what's going on. And if it's an emergency, just text me 911 and I'll see you pop up. Okay, okay. Now, sea 
scallops, nice and simple. Himalayan pink salt and crushed black pepper on both sides. Okay, I've got some olive oil here that I'm just going to, oh, uh, it's, it's nice and hot right now. And we're just going to sear. Ooh, oh, the oven, honey. We're going to sear the scallops on both sides. Hi, Carla, mom and dad, good. <laughs> so my daddy just texted me. If they don't, y'all, live show, I tell you. And, and we got a real live family. So my dad texted me. Thank you, daddy. I didn't even know he could text. But he just texted me that he and mom are good, not to worry. So thank you for that. Gosh, I wish y'all could, ooh, more y'all could meet my mama and daddy, like, in person. They're a hoot. They are a hoot. And they've been together now, how old am I, 45? They've been together 47 years. 47 years they've been together. Yes, honey, that's a long time. I couldn't put up with my 47 days. But they've been doing it for 47 years. So... They definitely got something special. Definitely. So, um, yes. Get our scallops on here to sear. And when you sear the scallops, you're not going to lift it. You're not going to peek at it. You're not going to keep flipping and turning it or nothing. You're just going to let it kind of fry on each side. Just leave it alone. Okay? Okay, turn that back up. And then we're going to do the garlic. Let me go ahead and get the garlic going right now. Okay, so. Yes, I know. There is a lot of garlic in here. I may not use all of um, this garlic, but I might. I love garlic. I just do. So I'm going to get these cut up. Woohoo! Oh yeah, I put my whole body into the chef. <laughs> yes, it's good exercise. Get that going. Now what I'm going to do is um, sprinkle just a little bit of salt. On that garlic. Hey, Kelvin. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> to pull more of that, uh, more of the oils out of the garlic. Okay. So just, ooh, oh, those scallops are going to be so good. And it's just perfect. A nice, light, almost an appetizer supper. Because I can't do the heavy. Um, not being at home all day. Chat. Cause uh, we. Oh, ow! I don't know about you, but my the organization that I work for, we are now working from home. Um, Governor Ward Cooper has said that unless you are essential like a hospital employee um some nonprofits yes that are providing services to people in the community police fire medic everybody else y'all stay home so this thing can die down oh my gosh that is good so, so we're home and we're working from home and uh, still working because we're calling families and students and texting and sending out reminds and all of this stuff. Hey, boo! How are you? Angie, no man. Okay, no man.
tongs for the scallops. Now I'm gonna wait, the way I'm gonna turn, uh, I don't have to yell, you right here. Okay. The way I'm gonna know when to turn the scallops is when I get about a sixteenth of an inch that starts to turn opaque. I love your cooking commitment. Thank you so much, Stacey. It is the one thing in life that I have become committed to and consistent with. <laughs> That's my roommate. <laughs> hey, sis. Thank you so much. So, yeah, I told you, unless, and, and oh, the devil thought he had me. Because, I mean, I was, I was, I thought I was getting sick. I thought I had chills and he was playing little tricks on me. Little tricks. And I said, uh-uh. Get your butt up and get in that kitchen. You got work to do. So, that's what I'm doing. I just realized I didn't put my lights on. That. I, I know. So they're starting to um, split a little bit at the bottom and starting to get slightly opaque, then I'll be able to flip it and it'll be just brown enough. Got the garlic sliced up, let me do a lemon. I'm going to do two. I may not use all of the lemon, I don't know. But, um, the wine is not for me to drink. The wine is for the sauce. And I'm just, I'm not going to use a lot. Just a little bit of, what is, I get, Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon. I couldn't remember if I got the Pinot Grigio or, but this, this is the right one. The wine key. Trust the wine key. I put that to the side, and now I think I can flip. Woohoo! That's what you want. Uh, I'll show you in a little bit. <laughs> See? I got a little crust. Woohoo! There we go. Yeah, that's pretty, huh? Yeah! It's cute. It's cute, honey. Oh, yeah. Oh. I know one thing. When this virus is, passes over, I'm going to be so happy to see you folks. I may just hug and kiss random strangers. Maybe not. That's probably how it got spread in the first place. It's a man of strangers. Hey, Principal Felder. <laughs> That's my classmate. Jennifer Hannibal Felder and her husband have been principal and assistant principal at their home for the kids. Yeah. I, I love seeing the parodies of you um lord y'all are hilarious but i think not, how are y'all coping how are you dealing with this are you getting some some time in for self-care that's important are you um taking care of yourself mentally physically spiritually because all of that is important all of it. Mm-hmm. You're not. Ken, what's going on? I know. It's hard working from home. Like being here all day. I got wine and, and other stuff and food. And you get tempted to drink a glass. So, thank God. I've kind of um, set myself up with a schedule every day, so I get. <laughs> Kids say he got to work every damn day. Really? 
Ooh. Wow, you you are an essential personnel. Every day. Trusting and believing, loving from a distance. Hey boo, how you doing? That's yes. Yeah. It's critical. It is critical when I look at the um <laughs> and in DC. <laughs> hey Lisa, Lisa. Oh man, y'all just let's just remember to keep our wits about ourselves. Um, if you believe in the power of prayer, rely on that. Um, oh, like I was saying, so I had to make sure I keep a schedule for myself. So I get up in the morning, like five o'clock in the morning, just like I'm getting ready to go to work. So, um, get up, get my shower, put on some clothes, like real clothes, not staying in my house coat all day, no. Putting on clothes, like I'm going to work. Put on my um, eyebrows and some lashes, because that makes me feel good. So, I've been doing that, like, every day. Um... Because if somebody got to come in and find me, I want them to find me together. Darling. Make sure I'm all the way together. Oh, yes. So now we got a nice little crust. You don't want to overcook your scallops now. It's tempting because they stay white. But don't get tempted to overcook it. Just, um... Ooh, ooh. I'm I'm putting them on a little plate here and then I'm gonna grab my carrots in a little bit but I'm gonna show you how to do a little little lemon sauce real quick it drives a socialist <laughs> oh no it drives a socialist crazy it does cause we we wanna get out there and I'm, I'm social sometimes. I know you watch the show and you're like, oh my gosh, she's like always so up. With, no, no. Mm -mm. Garlic. This is the um, garlic butter sauce with the lemon juice and, and wine, okay? Hang on. But yeah, not not always am I social. A lot of times, um, I just want to be by myself. But this week was tough. Give me that wine bottle. <laughs> I hope you're stocked up. But like I said, it's set a schedule. So only drink if you're going to be working at home or you're going to be at home most of the day like say okay i'm only going to have a drink of wine after this time okay don't, don't be drinking all day because the bottle is staring at you it's tempting but don't do it don't do it i say i'm uh ooh. all right so now we got our Garlic going. I'm gonna have some little bits in there that I don't really want, but let me get a little butter. A little butter. Oh yeah, baby. Mm-hmm. Come on. I don't know how much it was. I don't. I just. I, I just did what made me feel good. Okay. Oh my gosh. To smell that. Baby. Baby. Ooh. Okay. So now you got the garlic. You got the butter. You're going to. Squeeze some lemon juice in there. Real lemon. I 
I do it like this so the seeds don't fall in. Ooh! <laughs> it was juicy. Little more. Ooh. And I think I'm going to do one more. Yep, I am. One more. Okay, okay, okay. Got enough of that, I think. Do you think you have enough lemon juice in that garlic? Yes. Yes, I think you do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Consistency is the name of my game, honey. If I can't do nothing, the least I can do is come on here and make sure. Okay, I got to turn on the light now. This is crazy. Hey, ooh, that's bright. That's all right. You see the shine on my forehead. Mm hmm. Oh yeah. So now what I've got is that. See that? Uh huh. Hit it with some wine. Turn it up. Boom. That's it. That's it. Oh. That's gonna be so luscious. Hey, War. How are ya? <laughs> Describe how this smells. This. Oh, gosh. Ugh. I. Mm, well. Ooh. Um, the essence of the lemon. And what I should have done was put some lemon zest in there. I could still do that. Just because, yeah, uh, yes, just a little. Now, when you're doing your lemon zest, don't, don't zest it down to the white meat. All you want is the zest, the yellow. You don't want the, the white meat because the white is bitter. Yes, honey. Oh, she fancy. She fancy. Yay. All right, little more. And get to the white meat stop. Yes. Oh, my. Y'all, I tell you, when you, when you sear that garlic and hit it with that lemon juice, Mm, mm, you talking about it it just envelops the entire kitchen oh it smells it smells Italian is what it smells like okay I got it getting reduced look at look at that honey uh-huh check on the carrots because we about to eat baby Okay, I can turn that down now. I got it. Night. Ooh. I'm fine, thank you. Yes, yes, it, it has been quite a week. But thank God you came. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey. This meal, I don't know, did somebody time me? This is like 30 minutes. This. <laughs> And it's not heavy. It is. It's nighttime friendly. I don't. You don't want to go to bed with with a belly so full that you can't rest. So I decided that I was just gonna do something light, fresh, fragrant, delicious. And uh, we all gonna be better for it, hun. Yes. Oh Lord. When I tell you she plating that thing, no.
<laughs> oh my goodness. Let's get a little parsley. Where my parsley at? Where my parsley at? I got a little bit of curly parsley. I can turn my carrots off. Now this is something if you um you just and it's real simple. You don't need any particular skill to to do this. You just need to know when stuff ain't burning. This is just parsley. Ain't nothing fancy. I'm just. I ain't hiding nothing from it. Okay. Okay. Let me grab my carrots and then we're going to get ready to eat. Baby. Oh. I'm so glad you came. So glad. And I got some, um, some of the carrots are kind of thin. I'm going to put a few of those there. Really make it look special. Let me tell you, when I, um, cook for myself, I, I treat myself right. Because if, if you don't love you, how the hell you expect somebody else? So just okay. This this is my sauce. This is Ooh. Ooh. yes. Oh my god, y'all! Look at look at this. Just go and get a screenshot right now. I don't know why I did that, but somebody getting screenshot. Y'all, this thing is so cute. You. So we've got our grilled Brussels sprouts that were marinated. Remember last week when we did the Brussels sprouts and we um we did. The, I just saw my sister's message. She was like, "I cannot cook." Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And you you can do this. Let me tell you, anybody can do this. Okay. Look at that garlic butter sauce on there. Isn't it gorgeous? Yes. Brussels sprouts that um, were marinated in that salt, pepper, Worcestershire, and pickle juice. It's been marinating for a whole week. And that seasoning is through and through. The carrots, only thing I did with the carrots was olive oil, salt, and pepper. That is it. That's it. Of course... I've got my garlic butter white wine sauce that I just taught you how to make, so no excuses. You can do this, okay? That Like when you get ready to do a lobster tail or a piece of fish, some salmon or tilapia or whatever, make that garlic butter sauce, honey, and pour over there and make people think you, you've been to um, Sugar Pearl's Culinary School. I'm speaking it, Lord. I'm speaking it. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> and our scallops. All I did with the scallops was salt and pepper. That's it. Little Himalayan pink salt. See it on both sides and some olive oil. Okay, time, time to shut up and start eating. I say... This is my favorite part. Here we go. Ready? Oh, you didn't get your picture. <laughs> okay. I know I'm feeling myself. Let me stop. I'm just going for the for the scallops. R right in. I'm going right in. Let's let's do that first. 
Mm, 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 mm. Get some. I want some of that garlic, boo. Mm, the tartness for the from the lemon. Oh my god! And that's why you use fresh lemon. It's a different kind of flavor when you're using real lemons. And just lemon juice that's been sitting on the shelf for months. Oh, the scallops, they just... Scallops just have this natural sweetness to them. When you get them good. Oh my gosh. The sauce is not too tart. It's tart. But that white wine balances it right on out. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna put some of that on everything. Mmm. I feel like chata. Coochie, coochie, coo. Mm -hmm. That is phenomenal. Mmm. I had some carrots in the bag. Just, they were 49 cents for the bag of, of real carrots. Not the little baby ones, the real long ones. 49 cents bag. They were about to go bad. And I was like, I got to cook these things tonight. Let me tell you. When you roast those carrots in the oven. See, fruits and vegetables have this natural balance of flavor that you can't get from a jar it is so good oh my gosh let me get another scalp mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. See, nobody bought the scallops. Because they don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I did. I'm going to go back and get me some more, too. Because this is bomb. You got to make it. Mmm. Oh my goodness. Um, one day I'm going to write these recipes now. I'll have to go back and look at the shows. So, but this garlic butter lemon sauce with the white wine. You could probably put that on a piece of liver, child, and eat it. Because I hate liver. Oh, gosh. But this sauce? My God. Mmm. Mmm, another carrot. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. Okay, I know. Because it's rude. Where your plate? Y'all, I'm glad I kept it simple tonight. No rice, no pasta. I'm proud of myself. Just straight appetizer plate. That's a fancy appetizer that you pay $32 for. Uptown show. Mm hmm. Show it. I hope that you are making this stuff. How do I know these recipes from scratch? Kim, 
I thought I told you. I make it up as I go. I'm telling you, once I get in here, I'm a different animal. Give me some ingredients. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to pray over it. And then I'm going to go, you know what? I think I might be able to try doing this. But $50 in D.C. Well, I'm moving to D.C. after this coronavirus then. And make start making me some money. Open up me a, a, a restaurant. Or Sugar Pearls right there, honey, on the pier. Oh, my goodness. My, my, my. Y'all. Just try stuff. That's it. I don't like eating the same thing over and over and over again. So, sometimes I'm just in the store and I'm just walking around. And I just find things that speak to me. <laughs> My cousin Kelvin said the Corona discount. Shut up! <laughs> no, you did How you gonna bring Rona into this situation? I can't have Y'all, y'all so black. Why? Why? <laughs> it's just me, honey. And it's just a live show where live-ish happens every single Friday night here on Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen live. Facebook at 7 o'clock. Y'all, thank you. I'm telling you. You made my night because it, the walls were closing in, boo. They were closing in. Thank you for that laugh. I needed it. <laughs> I really did. Lord, if um, the Lord bless me, I'll be back here again next week with another great recipe for you to try, honey. So tune in then. Don't forget, you can catch this video after the show on Facebook or you can watch the produce video on YouTube you'll get a little ding if you've already subscribed to Sugar Pearls yes go on and do that if you haven't done it already and of course Instagram TV at Sugar Pearls underscore online thank you roommate all right y'all take care of yourselves and each other Look out for our healthcare professionals, and if you can, just stay home. Do us all a favor. Remember, I love you, and I hope you love me back. Bye, baby.